नहीं सर वो सब ठीक है लेकिन आके ना पचास हजार बच्चे हैं सर टेलीग्राम दिल्ली में आप अगर गली में भी हो आप पॉपुलर हो ओके अभी पीटी खत्म हुआ है उस समय रिलीज करेंगे ना नए बच्चे आते अभी इनके क्या अभी हंसने खेलने के घूमने फिरने के दिन है मौज मस्ती करने के दिन है एंड दे आर कमिंग टू डेली मेरे को एक्सपीरियंस से एक ही शिकायत है टीचरों को बहुत ही मतलब गरीब हालत में दिखाई इतनी तो बुरा हाल नहीं है Somebody kind of insulted me. और अब बिहार यूपी और ये देखिए उनका माइंड सेट होता है कि सिविल सर्वेंट होता है तो मैं यूट्यूब पे जाके सुन लेता इतने इन्फ्लुएंसर आई थिंक वो टॉकिंग और रोजा सर इन बिका जी लेट्स जस्ट कपूर इंडिया में इतना लैक्स यूथ प्रिपेयर कर रहा है और उसकी प्रॉब्लम्स को बाहर लाया जो शॉप्स में बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग आने वाला है तो कंप्लीटली अनस्क्रिप्टेड कंप्लीटली अनस्क्रिप्टेड माइक सर हो हाँ माइक सर ठीक सर अभी मैम आप इसका भेजा रहे कोई बात नहीं सर तो बारह कर एडिट होगा पोस्ट बारिश बहुत है तो रेनी मत दौड़ या इंडीड बट पहुंच गए टाइम पे All of and all thanks to okay, you. It's because of me you all have to take all the you know. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> This was the original uh, plan. Plan. Ah, yeah. Because my flight is not today. If it was today, we could have done it on Sunday. We could have done it. Hmm. So actually, what was it? The flight was booked quite early. अच्छा. इसलिए तो मैंने वही बोला कि भाई cancel करना बड़ा difficult हो जाएगा. नहीं नहीं. The rainy season also. If you have a ticket, must mm-hmm. always be on it. <laughs> How did it all start? How are we UPSC teachers? <laughs> Is this what life had in store for us? <laughs> so, uh, to speak about the journey of being a teacher, before that, uh, the idea of you know pursuing the civil services examination. So this came uh, from external as well as internal. Like I'll tell you, हमारे शॉप के पास पुलिस स्टेशन है फादर का जो शॉप है और वहाँ पे पापा के बहुत सारे दोस्त थे जो पुलिस ऑफिसर्स तो वो शॉप पे आते रहते थे तो मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगता था वर्दी पहन के आते थे और एक यू नो देर वॉज डिफरेंट चार्म सो द जर्मिनेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एंड एट होम ऑलवेज फेल्ट वाई माई मदर इज इन्वॉल्व इन दिस मीनियल कोर्स Why can't she be that police officer? Mm. Like how dad goes to office and mm. he's doing all these things and he's so much respected. So, मुझे हमेशा ये था कि मुझे पापा बनना है. Where I'm doing, you know, something so substantive, where I'll be respected. और फिर मुझे वो police officer बनना है. तो वो thought वहाँ से germinate हुआ for pursuing the civil services. And uh, then. यू नो टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड की तो तब से हम सब सोचते हैं कि लाइफ में क्या करें लाइक like, उसके पहले तो ये भी कर लेंगे वो भी कर लेंगे बहुत सारी डाइवर्सिटी होती है सो आफ्टर दैट व्हेन द टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड की तो अच्छे मार्क्स आ गए अब सब बोलते हैं डॉक्टर बन जाओ 82 परसेंट है भाई साइंस वाइंस ले लो और मैं रख लगा के बैठ गई मेरे को तो वो पुलिस ऑफिसर बनना है तो आई टूक पोलिटिकल साइंस ह्यूमैनिटी सो फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज हाउ वी ट्रीट ह्यूमैनिटीज हम यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन में अगर देखें तो जी एस में ऑल सोशल साइंसिस तुम देश के ऑफिसर सिलेक्ट कर रहे हो उसमें सारे सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंसिस ओके वी जस्ट हैव लाइक साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी वन और ह्यूमैनिटीज को वैल्यू नहीं है हमारे देश में 
सो इट्स वेरी पैराडॉक्सिकल कि यू नो सो फिर स्टिल आई हैड टू स्ट्रगल फॉर दैट एट होम विद फ्रेंड्स एवरीबॉडी वाज सेइंग व्हाई यू नो यू शुड टेक बट हो गया अब पर हां के चलो ठीक है ठीक है हां तो फिर उसके बाद देन केम टू द जर्नी ग्रेजुएशन वगैरह हो गई देन आई केम टू दिल्ली तो पहला क्वेश्चन इमर्जेस देयर कि दिल्ली से ही प्रिपरेशन होगी क्या और उस समय लाइक मुंबई तो वी डिडंट हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो एड टेक्स की ऑनलाइन कल्चर कम कल्चर कम मतलब और मुंबई में तो और मुंबई में और कम है मैम रीजन बीइंग कि वहां पे इतनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज लोगों को दिखती है कि गवर्नमेंट जॉब की जो आइडेंटिटी है ना वो एस्टैब्लिश ही नहीं हुई बिकॉज़ कॉर्पोरेट कल्चर है वहां पर हां और एडवर्टाइजमेंट बॉलीवुड मीडिया तो अब एक दफ्तर में जा कि तुम ऐसा क्या रोल कर लोगे दैट इज द मेंटालिटी ऑफ दी मतलब पुणे नासिक सोलापुर दैट बेल्ट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ सिटीज हां क्योंकि वहां बहुत है नहीं क्योंकि उससे मैंने जो जो मुझे लगता है कि अगर हम देखें एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन की बात करें जैसे पुणे और वो सारे बेल्ट में मुंबई में भी है लेकिन जैसे मैम ने कहा कि नहीं बहुत सारा का वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है कि आपका माहौल कैसा है एनवायरनमेंट कैसा है वहां पर पुणे में एक माहौल है क्योंकि वहां पर फर्गूसन कॉलेज है बहुत सारे ऐसे ही पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी भी है तो एक वो एक क्रिएट करता है कि और वहां पर बहुत सारे देश के बच्चे आते भी हैं पढ़ाई और जॉब के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू तो एक कल्चर डेवलप हो जाता है और वहां एमपीएससी एग्जाम को लेके जैसे महाराष्ट्र पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन हां हां लेकिन यूपीएससी लेके पर वो भी मुंबई के बैठ में तो ऐसा डिवाइड है महाराष्ट्र में भी मुंबई वर्सेस द रेस्ट ऑफ द महाराष्ट्र और मेरे सारे फ्रेंड्स बोलते हैं पता है कितना करप्शन है तुम टिक नहीं पाओगी प्लस यू आर अ वुमन ये सब नहीं हो पाएगा वहां पे तो यहां पे आराम वाली जिंदगी जो मुंबई लाइफ जो पता नहीं कहां पोस्टिंग हो जाए तो सोसाइटी वुड ऑलवेज यू नो रेज दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ यू आर अ वुमन हाउ विल यू बी एबल टू सरवाइव दिस एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस नाउ हो जाए और फिर दूसरा कि हाउ यू नो व्हाट यू शुड बी डूइंग व्हाट इज योर कंफर्ट जोन है उसमें रह के करो चीजें नहीं मैं इसमें थोड़ा ऐड करना चाह रहा हूं जब मैं आईआईटी बॉम्बे में था तो हार्डली कोई मुझे मिलता था कोई यूपीएससी के बारे में बात कर रहा या तैयारी कर रहा उनका बस दो ही सपना होता था जीआरई जीमैट दो यूएस एंड फॉरेन जॉब हायर स्टडी या जॉब दीजिए या एमबीए के लिए आईएम के लिए तैयारी करो कैट एग्जाम नोबडी मतलब मैंने वो कल्चर देखा ही नहीं वहां पर और जिनको करना होता था दे यूज्ड टू कम टू दिल्ली फॉर प्रिपरेशन पार्ट राइट right? uh, तो उसमें ऐसा होता था जैसे कि इफ यू रिमेंबर 2018 टॉपर शुभम कुमार फ्रॉम कटिहार फ्रॉम बिहार ही इज फ्रॉम आल्सो आईआईटी बॉम्बे बट ही केम डाउन टू दिल्ली फॉर प्रिपरेशन एंड देन क्वालीफाइड द एग्जाम तो वो ही भाई बहुत बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है और एक क्या होता है ना um, सर भी इसमें ऐड करेंगे जो एक कल्चरल माइंडसेट भी होता है सोसाइटल माइंडसेट जैसे अगर आप बिहार यूपी और ये देखेंगे उनका माइंडसेट होता है कि सिविल सर्वेंट बनना है तो वो तो उनके मतलब ब्लड में आ जाता है अब सरकारी नौकरी नहीं करेंगे तो हमारा लाइफ सेटल नहीं होगा जो रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ दी में बहुत सारे जगह पे स्पेसिफिकली लोअर रंग सेक्शनल वाइज आल्सो रीजन वाइज आल्सो तो ये चैलेंज है सो मैम व्हाट डू यू फील या ट्रू हां सो सर मैम आई थिंक सिविल सर्विसेज क्यों करना होता है इसकी क्लैरिटी तो बहुत लोगों को बहुत साल तक करने के बाद भी नहीं होती है इट जस्ट गोस हां मतलब इट बहुत ही परसेप्शन ड्रिवन है कि एंड ऑल्सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन आपके सर्कमस्टांसिस से आ रहे हो क्या बैकग्राउंड वगैरह रहा है कम फ्रॉम एन आर्मी बैकग्राउंड फादर वॉज इन दी आर्मी माई ब्रदर इज ऑल्सो इन दी आर्म फोर्सेज क्वेट ए फ्यू पीपल तो वो थोड़ा सा यूनिफॉर्म सर्विस जैसा आप बता रहे हैं वो थोड़ा सा रही है माहौल हाँ बट मैं बट ऐसा कभी नहीं था कि बचपन में सपना देख लिया था कि कलेक्टर ही बनेगा है ना वो दैट वाज नेवर द केस थैंकफुली ऑलवेज हैड वेरी सपोर्टिव पेरेंट्स इवन टिल टुडे कि जो करना है करो अच्छा लगना चाहिए बिकॉज 
the point i was trying to get at is our career choices are very unconventional matlab mm-hmm. upsc teacher abhi theek hai thodi bahut because of a few individuals thoda sa log janne pehchanne lag gaye hain ki you know this is what we do iske liye bhi ek coaching hoti hai methodologically padhai hoti hai ha matlab exactly exact matlab exam likha interview ke baad nahi pahunche you finished your you know matlab i was something i was very clear hum ki do attempt ho gaye interview de diya nahi ho raha to nahi ho raha koi baat nahi that had an advantage man actually the advantage was uh, i started teaching very early okay i was 22 Achha. 22 and a half 23 around that time i started teaching. oh ha very early like yeah, yeah, upsc yeah. students yes, yes, okay yes, yes. Wow. 21 was the limit to so, 21 22 mein attempt diye ha 22 and a half i was there to see matlab oh exam nahi nikal raha to koi baat nahi okay so that Bohut early maturity you know Bohut wow mm-hmm. so that gave me a lot of risks i could take a lot of risks, risks yeah yes. nahi to generally what happens is that mm-hmm. people get into teaching after they finish yeah, their finish attempt their yes. so thoda yes. sa baggage hota hai exactly. and then you know you are you are in a hurry to to sort sort of stabilize, stabilize. and set to wo 3 4 saal tak iski tension nahi thi ki matlab वो थोड़ा एक्सप्लोर करते हैं फिगर दिस आउट कि ये है क्या okay. तो बहुत रिस्क लिए मैम इधर उधर जाके पढ़ा लिया यू नो कंपनीज इज नो लॉन्गर देयर और लुकिंग नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट तो यू वुड हैव स्टार्टेड लाइक 10 इयर्स बैक ओके सो दैट वाज एन एडवांटेज nobody ever thought that you know we'll ever get into this but mm-hmm. it was in my family gene my mother has been an educationalist my father in mm-hmm. his army tenure has you know d- done his uh, stint with the army education corps to wo kahin na kahin genetic mujhe lagta hai there's a knack for it but matlab aise kabhi bachpan mein nahi socha tha ki na collector banenge na upsc teacher banenge but how's your journey been Uh, I had Delhi. a very humble start. So my schooling was entirely in a regional language. Okay. Uh, I had my total education in uh, Telugu medium. Okay. So uh, the classroom background, everybody like mm-hmm. my parents both were social activists. Right. Oh my God! So they could afford for an English medium education, but mm-hmm. they decided it out of choice mm-hmm. that. I should see the poverty. It was in a government mm. school, mm. so they wanted me to see the poverty, the right. difficult right. side of the life, and they wanted me to have the basic education in the mother tongue. Right, right. Uh, my mother and father they always used to say that if you have basic education in the mother tongue, you will have more depth in the subject. Subject. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether that is the reason or not, but today I'm surviving mm-hmm. because of the depth in my subject. Mm-hmm. So okay. probably that could be a reason. Mm-hmm. So I have seen uh, so much of difficulty. Mm-hmm. Like say, for example, one of my classmate, she got married in uh, seventh standard, oh. and we were all in eighth standard. uh mm-hmm. she succumbed to domestic violence oh. she was burnt alive oh. so that was a kind of classmates i mm-hmm. had so i had a few classmates from uh, like the rickshaw pullers families mm-hmm. or uh, like local shopkeepers families mm-hmm. or domestic workers mm-hmm. families these were my classmates mm-hmm. because that was my parents choice Mm-hmm. there are two choices in that one is to provide education in the mother tongue mm-hmm. second mm-hmm. one is uh, they being social workers kind of my mother indirectly because uh, she later entered into a group one job okay mm-hmm. but my father spent his entire life uh, mm-hmm. in 2020 like uh, covid 19 uh, took him mm-hmm. so like um, so till his entire life he lived active 70 years so his entire life he lived in uh, social service mm-hmm. so there were two choices there one is to provide education in the mother tongue mm-hmm. second one is to see the other side of the society so we are like uh, kindly not very affluent but from a higher middle class family but they wanted me to see the other side of the society so both happened and uh, because of uh, poverty because of these issues my classmates were also kind of uh, in fact i faced a lot of opposition because they took me as an opponent because i'm slightly mm-hmm. from an uh, affluent family mm-hmm. 
they also did not kind of uh, include me mm. in their group mm. so that that kind of a schooling i had then after so that fighting uh, with so many <laughs> battles <laughs> yes, since, uh, that like as a child yes ki ek to aap किस मोटिव से आपको यहाँ बुलाया गया है लाइक फैमिली इज हैविंग सच अ पॉजिटिव एंड देन यू स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग आफ्टर दैट सो यस एंड आफ्टर दैट प्लस वन प्लस टू लाइक नथिंग स्पेशल टू मेंशन देन आई हैव चोजन माय बायोलॉजी बैकग्राउंड इन माय डिग्री सो डिग्री वाज आल्सो काइंड ऑफ वेरी गुड so like in my but basically i'm a shy person <laughs> very very shy yes. <laughs> like say for example when mm-hmm. man was saying uh, what is your opinion i said so true no <laughs> i didn't understand that she is passing on the question to me yes. <laughs> so i'm kind of a very shy person and uh, one day in my degree final year what happened is uh, like one of my teacher okay mm-hmm. how the teachers can inspire the students so like one of my teacher i admired her so much okay mm-hmm. like uh, coincidentally the her name also was uh, bindu mm-hmm. okay. okay i used to admire her so much i used to kind of look at her like that only only to look at her i used to uh, listen to her classes because she used to teach chemistry and i'm no way interested in chemistry oh. <laughs> such a damn boring so how subject teachers right? can in fact change your orientation yeah. Yeah. to a so subject so i like attended her classes only to look at her Mm-hmm. so kind of i started loving uh, chemistry <laughs> i i started loving Same chemistry and gender <laughs> and uh, like uh, like she said like some books will be uh, to be read only in some post graduate level mm-hmm. to impress her i read those books also oh, so, <laughs> oh my god yeah. so like the and one day all of a sudden that bindu ma'am uh, told that now you are in your uh, third year you may go to some interviews or you'll have to face the real world so you cannot uh, continue to be so shy she in general uh, spoke in the classroom class so she said you'll have to give some seminars so that you can open up yourself right and oh. i'm her deep lover <laughs> so <laughs> i was the first person to say yes ma'am i'll give you the seminar yeah. tomorrow then like uh, she uh, gave like uh, the next class my genetics ma'am came and uh, she gave a topic that is blood groups then i taught in the classroom i thought that nobody will listen to me because mm-hmm. since that day nobody listened to me mm-hmm. actually in my classroom uh, among that background that is telugu medium and mm-hmm. among the rickshaw pullers among mm-hmm. that in that classroom also i could not even become my bench leader <laughs> they they never considered me selecting as a class leader that is a distant matter unimaginable mm-hmm. and uh, they brought a concept called bench leader in that bench there are only three people i was not even uh, the choice among choice the three the also so that was my background mm-hmm. so i thought obviously nobody will listen to me but actually what happened was uh, quite contrary all the students started listening to me very carefully mm-hmm. and there were some bad benchers and rebellious students who never attended any classes mm-hmm. slowly those students also uh, took the notes out and started noting down the points mm-hmm. then i got confidence are kuch to ho raha hai so like uh, something okay. different is going on yeah. okay then uh, after that uh, what happened is like my after 5 minutes my genetics ma'am also started listening to me mm-hmm. carefully after 10 more minutes she also took out the notes and start jotting down a few points mm-hmm. oh my god and 45 minutes completed i didn't even realize that 45 minutes completed mm-hmm. students also did not realize mm-hmm. the next class was that bindu ma'am's class mm-hmm. and uh, my classmates they went to bindu ma'am and mm-hmm. they said that ma'am uh, bindu is taking the seminar and we are all enjoying it thoroughly mm-hmm. so if you give me give us permission uh, she will extend the class so the 45 minute session went one and a half hour session and at the end of the session my genetics ma'am said bindu uh, do you have this notes uh, please give me okay. Mm-hmm. okay then i thought okay uh, teaching is my cup of tea okay. i realized yeah. that i am enjoying teaching okay. okay i realized that this is one mm-hmm. place a person who can hesitate to talk, talk. to a person who is just sitting beside mm-hmm. okay finally i addressed a class of around 700 students in a go okay uh, and first like, time in your life 
like when I go on to the dayas, like one of my colleagues used to say, like, uh, yeah, one day, like in one faculty mm -hmm. room, what happened is, uh, one faculty said, man, you're so shy. You don't even open your, you open your mouth. How do you speak in front of the students? This would have happened at Vajiram for sure. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And, uh, and another faculty, of energy. <laughs> yeah. immediately another faculty answered, no, no, you did not see her in the classroom. The mm -hmm. moment she enters onto the dais, uh, she will totally transform. Mm -hmm. You will see a different uh, human being. There. Bipolarity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, kind of a bipolar disorder. Yeah. You can say <laughs> that disorder. Super the quality. Yes. 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 So uh, there I realized that teaching is my cup of tea and I'm enjoying it. And the people who are watching are also enjoying it. Yes, so that is when I noticed that. Then after that, what happened is like one of the, in my degree itself, like uh, we had a subject called uh, medical microbiology. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately for the students and fortunately for me, uh, last minute uh, she had to leave the job. Mm -hmm. So we did not have a teacher for medical mi microbiology. I always had a passion of being a doctor. Mm -hmm. So I started teaching medical microbiology to my friend who is sitting beside. Mm -hmm. Then gradually another student uh, came and asked, can I also join? Like that the entire class That's joined. Right. And I taught medical microbiology to a considerable group of my classmates. Right. So that uh, strengthened uh, the point that yes, I'm enjoying teaching. Mm -hmm. Then after that, like um, I started uh, my own coaching center. But that is not for UPSC. That okay. is for uh, CSIR Life Sciences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is uh, PhD entrance for JRF. JRF. So there I started the coaching center. Uh, good thing and bad thing is I don't know the depth of it. <laughs> because <laughs> if I knew the depth of it, I should not have jumped. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the point is like I did not have money to hire the teachers. Mm. Okay. So like uh, CSR Life Sciences is in entire Life Sciences. Mm -hmm. Kind of MSc Biotechnology, MSc Microbiology, MSc Botany, Zoology. All these students will write the same exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, like I had to teach all these subjects at PG level. Because they all are PG students. JRF is uh, yeah, uh, an exam that is written after post-graduation. Mm -hmm. So I have done my post-graduation in forensic science. But I had to teach for MSc Genetics, MSc Microbiology, MSc Biochemistry mm -hmm. students at PG level. Mm -hmm. And the happiest part of it is they said that, that is MSc Genetics students said that, in my two years of MSc Genetics, I have never studied all these things. I have never understood all these things. Mm. Now we are under, then I got like decided that I will be the teacher. Then after that, uh, it was an eight year journey with CSIR Life Sciences. It means I started teaching when I was 20, uh, 223, like SIRS age only. Mm. But I did not directly come to UPSC field. Mm. For eight years, I was teaching for CSIR Life Sciences mm. because I eight could, years. yes. Okay. Because I could not afford for other teachers, okay, I could not pay for them. It was my own institute, so mm -hmm. I had to no option. I had to learn. Then I understood one point. I started learning subjects one after the other. Mm -hmm. uh, biochemistry is the last subject that I started. I learned it in just a few days, not weeks and months. Mm -hmm. So what I understood is everything you learn will help you to learn the next thing yeah. easily, easily, in a better way. Already when mm -hmm. I learned, first subject was so impossible for me, so difficult for me. There was slow, so many sleepless nights. The last subject I acquired was quite easy. That is uh, kind of uh, the whole journey was there behind that. So after eight years of uh, CSR journey, the selections were very good. The student strength was also very good. But looking at my face, they were not paying the fees. <laughs> so it was so difficult to manage also. I could never carry one rupee home, sir. Uh -huh. For eight years, okay, me and my husband lived with zero income. And I cannot even tell my parents that I'm living with zero income because they have huge dreams for their only daughter. Right, right. So I had to hide the point that we have zero income. For eight years, zero income, but satisfied life because I'm teaching, students are enjoying. Like uh, six years, six hours continuously I teach also. The students right. used to say, 
like now can you listen more means they used to say yes ma'am you can teach for one more hour they used to say so everything was good mm-hmm. but the moment i go home that zero income is uh, coming in front mm-hmm. so we literally managed for my for our lunch we used to go to in laws home for dinner we used to go to parents home i never uh, told both of them that i neither to the in laws nor the parents none of them knew that we are living with literally not even 5000 10000 zero income 8 years then uh, like um, upsc happened to me 2011 so i started teaching for upsc around 12 years back So 2011, I started UPSC journey in an institute called La Excellence. Mm-hmm. So that is I where remember. I started. Okay. Yes, that is where I started. It was again a uh, like uh, at at that time I was I was working as an assistant professor in Osmania University. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I kept that as my uh, USP. Right. Okay, to try for the uh, faculty position in UPSC. UPSC. Okay, so I approached that sir. I'm an uh, assistant professor in uh, Usmania University. So please consider. So that uh, became a particular oh, additive point. Okay. Academic, uh, yeah, yeah, academically, that is one thing I could show. So like with that, I could easily get into that, and um, I did not immediately leave my assistant professor job. Yeah. Uh, I had to leave because it was contract based, ad hoc. That was not a permanent uh, position. Contract based. assistant professor title but in the bracket small c will be there <laughs> that is ad hoc so ad hoc. i uh, so i had to leave it one day but i did not leave it all of a sudden because i don't know whether i can um, be successful in upsc field or not so for one batch i continued both of them uh, then um, in that institute like excellence the students liked the classes they gave the green seat yeah. here finally not the director who selects the teacher <laughs> the students mm-hmm. will select mm-hmm. the teacher mm-hmm. so they gave me yes you are okay the students said <laughs> yes you can continue mm-hmm. then i left my job in uh, usmani university mm-hmm. then sir in uh, hyderabad i literally worked for around 15 coaching centers like a freelancer mm-hmm. uh, in almost in every coaching center like one year i worked only in la excellence the next one year i worked in uh, around 15 coaching centers mm-hmm. uh like uh, brain tree or uh, like uh, telangana study mm-hmm. circle or uh, hyderabad study circle also used to be there at that time sri chaitanya narayana like that some mm-hmm. uh, 15 institutes i worked almost in every institute i used to teach science and technology mm-hmm. then i noticed in one of the institutes um, i am working uh, they are not respecting uh, the local teachers much mm-hmm. if a teacher comes from delhi mm-hmm. ओके दिल्ली में आप अगर गली में भी हो आप पॉपुलर हो ओके अगर आई स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो परसीव इट दैट वे आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर यस यस कैंपस अ लॉट ऑफ दीस लोकल राइट फैकल्टीज विद फैकल्टी फ्रॉम दिल्ली या एंड इफ एनी टीचर कम्स कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है या इफ एनी टीचर कम्स दे यूज्ड टू पुट अ होल्डिंग दैट आउट एज अ टीचर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिल्ली स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो हैव डिफरेंट एंथुसियाज्म देन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अटेंडिंग बट एंड ऑफ द क्लास स्टूडेंट्स यूज्ड टू से मैम यू आर टीचिंग बेटर और एट लीस्ट इक्वली देन आई थॉट लाइक ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है लाइक आई शुड गो टू दिल्ली ओके आई शुड गो टू दिल्ली वन डे ऑल ऑफ अ सडन आई डोंट इवन नो कैन आई एक्सटेंड फॉर या या मैम बिकॉज़ लेटर अगेन आई हैव अ बाइपोलर एंड लेटर अगेन आई नो दैट आई विल सिट फाइल ओके सो लाइक वन डे ऑल ऑफ अ सडन आई कॉल्ड वाजीराम ऑफिस एंड आई आस्क्ड फॉर रविंद्रन सर्स फोन नंबर आई डोंट इवन नो व्हाई दे हैव गिवन द फोन नंबर बिकॉज़ आई एम अ रैंडम कॉलर Mm-hmm. Very, 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 strange. very strange. Very strange. Very <laughs> strange. Now it is impossible to get a yes. reference no. phone no. number. But I don't even know. I don't like even know why yes. they have given. <laughs> okay, that too they have given his Chennai landline number. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Then I called that number. Another strange thing is, sir picked up the phone call. Yeah. Wow. Any other because there will be so I have never yeah. uh, seen, but obviously there will be so many people in the phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am just sounding so teleological. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Very strange. I yeah. somehow don't know, sir picked up the call. Mm-hmm. Then I was upset in Hyderabad for some reason. Somebody kind of insulted me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so kind of I thought of showing what is. I did not take it personally. Mm-hmm. I took it as an insult to the womanhood. Correct, correct. So I thought of uh, proving what a woman can do. 
like right, right. Uh, so that was the milestone and that time like um, and those people were giving a lot of respect and banners hoardings hyderabadi biryani for uh, delhi faculty mm -hmm. so this was going on one day i even went to bavarchi to bring hyderabad biryani to one of the delhi faculty <laughs> oh uh, because there were no office assistant oh, at that time mid -mid i felt like a host mm -hmm. uh, the women the women the instinct will be there i real mm -hmm. nobody compelled mm -hmm. but i felt a hostly instinct okay and i asked sir sir what would you like for lunch he said bavarchi biryani nobody is there in the office at that time no swiggy no zomato yeah, <laughs> so yeah, i became the uh, swiggy zomato <laughs> <laughs> huh? which year is 2011 it? okay mm -hmm. okay then i thought uh, okay someday like i should also be in that place then i thought okay now i should go to delhi then i called ravindran sir then i was in that anger i felt insulted Insul mm -hmm. not personally insult to the womanhood then uh, I talked to Rabindran sir in that natural anger. Right. I said, sir, now I don't have anything to prove to you. I'm working uh, in a place in a local uh, region, Hyderabad. Now I don't have anything to prove to you. But if possible, please give me a chance for a demo. Mm -hmm. Then he said, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. At that time, like uh, getting a demo opportunity in Vajiram was also too great. Yeah, that time they were <laughs> the first thing what I mean, the unilateral <laughs> source of power it was. Right. <laughs> it is time. very like it is yes. almost like casting for a Bollywood film. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it was really that bad. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ha -ha. yeah, yeah. Yes. All of us have gone through the whole yes. demo yes. thing. <laughs> so like, um, yeah. So first, what I have done is I first advertisement uh, advertised everybody that I'm going to Vajiram mm. demo. I'm going to Vajiram demo. <laughs> Because like I thought 99% I will not be selected. No, right. Okay. So if I am rejected, then I cannot come back and say I, I, I had, had given gone. the demo and then got rejected. So this is the opportunity. First tell them that I'm going to demo. Mm -hmm. And then I went to demo. Like that was the first time I traveled to Delhi. Not only to Delhi. First time I went out of uh, Hyderabad. Okay. okay. And I did not even have money for booking the tickets. Flight tickets also, I don't have money. I borrowed flight ticket uh, money from a friend. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I reached uh, Delhi in the morning, 9 o'clock. And sir gave me time, 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So like uh, I booked one uh, ticket evening, 7 o'clock. Okay, because I, I'm afraid of staying in uh, Delhi for the night. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I also decided that uh, if nothing is possible, I will sit in the street also or I will sit in the airport also. But without completing the demo, I will not no, go I back. Go back. Yeah. So I booked one more ticket next day morning. But mm -hmm. I told sir that, so I have, sir, I have two bookings, but I prefer to go today night itself because I'm afraid of staying here. Sir, so nice of him. He literally took the wristwatch out and uh, he was checking the time. Four o'clock, uh, he started the demo. During the demo, he started asking me a few questions. I was answering some of them and willingly avoiding some of them because I knew that he would like to check how do I handle the strength because strength in Vajiram there will be hundreds of students. Yes. Right. So if I if I get carried away by the doubts, the class will not proceed. Okay. So I wanted to show him that also. I have I didn't answer a few questions. Mm -hmm. Lastly, uh, uh, he asked me. Uh, so ma'am, tell me, can we cure cancer with uh, gene silencing? Mm -hmm. Then I said, uh, sir, anyway, gene silencing is the next topic I'm going to teach. So I will answer this question after I complete that topic. Actually, gene silencing was not my next topic. <laughs> but I made it my next topic. Mm -hmm. I uh, neatly taught what is gene silencing. Then I asked, sir, sir, now you tell me, can we cure cancer using gene silencing? He laughed loud. Okay. okay, and he yeah. said, "Come, we will discuss." And I got selected. I was there. Yeah, all of okay. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, it's the whole story. Is, no. no, because in, uh, I have realized uh, when you are teaching such a big coaching institute where you have a uh, kind of hundreds of students, students. you'll have so to. apart from the knowledge delivery and how do you handle the class becomes very important. Very important. Whichever institute, yes. it's not that matter of only Vajiram, which a whichever mm -hmm. big institute, yes. or let's say you are in an auditorium where you have a large audience mm -hmm. or any kind of classroom. Handling the audience is a very important part, and that is where a teacher had that quality. Yes. So you have that kind of quality. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> so what yeah. about your journey? Like uh, my journey is like a, you know something like a very different sort of it. 
that uh, so we would want to know <laughs> from the civil services till yes, now yeah, yeah. so um, i'll i'll give in a very brief way not very uh, um say i am from devgarh that is a jharkhand ha yeah. uh, so that time i was a bihar but now in the yeah. state so devgarh is a religious place is a known for bara jyotirlinga like one you know malikarjun yes. in uh, sri salem yes. so one is a that's called bedanath dham yes it's called bedanath dham my home is just near to the temple so i have been my upbringing is there in the religious uh, kind of thing but uh, fortunately that my parents got me into christian missionary school mm-hmm. so because that education which i got a very different type of thing that um, really helped me to get good education although in my family or generation not many people are very educated so that was a turning point of my life and then uh, upsc happened because uh, um you know that uh, bihar up jharkhand east india ka culture i said the cultural mindset there the people where they see the power like district collector and ips officer so that type of uh, thing which i have seen as a child so that was a motivation that you can bring a lot of change in society then i went to ranchi did my 12 then um, iit bombay many things happened there so initially i was very afraid to go for upsc preparation because uh, uh, i knew that it is a success rate is very very low so i decided to go for a job so from after iit bombay i was working in corporates i was uh, and then uh, i gave um, exam also there but uh, finally after two interviews when i just missed by just my last interview i missed just one for four five marks so i thought like no let me continue this part and uh, law happened because atish sir and myself both are uh, coming from law background so at uh, delhi i came i got married then uh, i have to sustain somewhere so teaching became a part because you know that in if you are advocate as a lawyer uh, you have to can struggle a lot and uh, initially you will not be able to earn money is very difficult because in delhi is very expensive so you need to somewhere you to back up so the teaching was a very simple thing that and college or university will require a higher kind of degree or you are qualified jr up or something of that so i started with the coaching institute only there from small level i started and everything uh, then nobody used to know me about my environment environment subject and uh, part of it then i decided to write books also there Uh, luckily, I'll tell you how my Wajiram story started. Ma'am, we are not. We are not the class. No, no, no. Ma'am, Wajiram is like uh, Dharma production. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are very right, sir. You are very right. You can't divorce. Yeah, yeah. Very true. 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 मुझे अपॉर्चुनिटी दी है कि uh, हम लोग वी वांट इन्वायरमेंट क्लासेस यू स्टार्ट टीचिंग विद दैट सो आई स्टार्टेड विद दैट व्हिच ईयर इज दिस सर दिस इज 2015 ओके देन आई स्टार्टेड टीचिंग देयर दैट टाइम विजन एट ऑल वे जस्ट बिगनिंग दैट टेस्ट सीरीज एंड ऑल दिस दे स्टार्टेड विद टेस्ट सीरीज और देन दे वेंट टू द मैगजीन करेक्ट 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 करंट अफेयर्स एंड देन फ्रॉम देयर द फिर वो चल रहा था तो देन धीरे धीरे देख के मैं भाग गया था बहुत ज्यादा तो थ्री फोर ईयर्स ऐसा चलता रहा देन आई वेंट टू एवरी वेयर मतलब अभी रिसेंटली दृष्टि आई एस बट रियली आई टेल यू दैट my name as a you know teacher for environment and science and technology only started and people got to know one was the wajiram mm-hmm. and second was the vision because what happened vision videos my class videos telegram channel or sab jagah chala gaya to bahut sare bachcho ne wo video dekhne ke baad unko laga ki ye environment ka teacher hai mm-hmm. he is a teacher like that because i thought some students will watch Ma'am, my i think what is different uh-huh. between the three of you and me i was also studying at wajira correct 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 so i ha okay so, so i was also being a student this year Ma'am, I was 2010. 2010. Yeah, I was 2011. So I had studied. So I started teaching once you started. Nine to ten. Yeah, ten or eleven. That one decade gap. Yeah, yeah. And I did the interview program. I remember very clearly. So uh, 
राजेंद्रनगर में रह रहे हैं गंगा राम हॉस्पिटल के सामने एक फोर्थ फ्लोर पे यू नो यू कुड नॉट अफोर्ड मोर देन फाइव सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज टाइम तो रूम मिल गया है एंड यू नो सम फैंटास्टिक रूम से दो बिहार से ही थे विशाल एंड सैयद अरमान उलाब्दीन तो ये लवली पीपल एंड देन आई हैड फ्रेंड्स इन वादीराम सो देयर वाज आई हैड पुनीत फ्रॉम बेंगलोर संतोष फ्रॉम चेन्नई योगी अगेन फ्रॉम चेन्नई सो वो अपना भारत दर्शन अलग ही चलता है वादीराम में देखो पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री ऑफ फ्रेंड्स एंड ऑल दैट अब हम लोग के पास खाने के लाले पड़े रहते थे अब इंटरव्यू क्लास के लिए गए थे हम लोग अब सर पढ़ा रहे हैं कि उस टाइम भी भी लेजिटिमेट इंटरव्यू क्लास सॉरी मैं रहा था लेवल ग्यारह बजे तक सेशन हो रहा था एंड एंड वी हैड सम गुड हम लोग हमेशा लास्ट बेंच पे बैठे थे एंड फ्रेंड ऑफ इन इन द द बैच वो घर से पराठे लेके आती थी हम सबके लिए कल पराठे ले आना अचार उचार तू और हम लोग पीछे बैठ के पराठे खा रहे हैं और रविंद्र सर पढ़ा रहे हैं से मिर्ची खाई नहीं जाती तो and and since then I have also made sure that that if any child wants to eat or or drink in my class do that, as long as long whatever you are eating or drinking should not be prohibited under law mm-hmm. <laughs> that is okay it's fine तो कुछ मिर्ची आ गई तो हिचकी आने लगी अब रविंद्र सर ने देख लिया अब सर को भी शायद याद नहीं होगा सर को बोले your conduct is unbecoming of a civil servant मैं दो महीने बाद आई वेंट सर आई वांट टू टीच हियर सर डिड ही नोटिस के यू आर द ही रिमेंबर ही रिमेंबर ही रिमेंबर वेरी फॉन्डली मैन ही रिमेंबर बैक एंड एंड अ कॉमन फ्रेंड के थ्रू आई मेट समबडी कॉल्ड अभय सर अभय सर एंड बिकेम वेरी वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स इज ऑलमोस्ट फैमिली लाइक मी सो फॉर मी अ थ्रू अभय सर आई गॉट इलांगवन सर एंड थ्रू यू इलांगवन सर आई मेट रविंद्र सर ही सेड कम एंड डू व्हाट दे मो नाउ अगेन हम सेम प्रॉब्लम now studied in india then did a masters in the uk came back so we have a very very academic you know in our own right and sir ne ka polity mein rights padhana 2 ghante ka to mam wo jaise aapki subject pe na social contract se leke maine rights shuru kara to ravindran sir bolte itra itra kisko padha raha hai rights social contract kahan se aata hai isme you know just teach that concept, concept and just teach rights i said theek hai sir And I thought I thought I had watched up my uh, dem. I thought, but he said no, no. You do this again. Mm-hmm. And then my entire friend circle, they sat with me for two <laughs> days. <laughs> they helped me prepare the lecture. But one good thing now that you are mentioning this, and even Mams, uh, the beauty of it is, you know, when you are judging a teacher, that. you sit for the two and a half hours yeah you see that continuity you see mm. the sustainability and uh, myself matlab in the sense one self sir himself is sitting and watching it mm. ab aaj ke din ye demo pattern bhi change hai aaj ke to 10 minute ka video bhejo aadha ghanta dekhenge aur are maza nahi aa raha hai ya bahut acha hai so teacher ki asli demo to teaching became a very ढाई घंटे ये एक अच्छी पैटर्न है और इसको एक्चुअली टीचर्स को जब हम सिलेक्ट कर रहे हैं इंस्टीट्यूशन शुड फॉलो दिस पैटर्न कि आप एक तो आप दूसरी टीम को भी बिठाओ बट द पर्सन हु इज द डायरेक्टर शुड बी हिमसेल्फ सिटिंग ओवर देयर इट शुड बी ऑफलाइन और तीसरी चीज की पूरा ढाई घंटे बैठ के सुनो बंदे का बंदी का डेप्थ तब आता है और जब तक वो डेप्थ आता है उसके पहले आप खत्म कर दोगे तो फिर मजा कैसे आएगा Yes. Yeah. Sir used to give uh, repeat uh, demo opportunities also. Oh, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. also good. Mm-hmm. Uh, like that Life is good. Life is good. But don't forget that we are not good. But those demo are bad. Now, their good thing is that they give them opportunity. Like you have told me. Ma'am, it was it was my first lesson in UPSC teaching mm-hmm. that you are teaching students for the UPSC exam. If it is a political science class, then yes, social contract to tell. But in politics, no. Tell me about types of rights. मेरे को पता है फंडामेंटल राइट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट्स स्टैट्यूटरी राइट और आगे बढ़ो बढ़ो एंड आई वाज मेसमराइज एंड मैम वो दिन है और आज का दिन है आई विल नॉट टेक माय आवर्स ऑन अन अकेडमी बट आई विल नॉट टीच समथिंग व्हिच 
does not translate into a question directly yes. right, 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 right. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, that was a massive learning but this was, we there should not at least question uh, in my mind like you know this this pattern he teachers today have to be even uh, you know into the glamour into the media even the influencers but uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> ironically you know uh, so like I, i will want to say that a teacher is always an influencer so there is nothing paradoxical that teacher should be an influencer but we have to understand ki har session ka ek alag significance hai jab aap class mein orientation naye bachcho ko de rahe ho tab tak aap motivational speech de rahe ho ya aap kahi public seminar but in the classroom which is directly for the content for teaching relevant to exam this uh, aspect has to be really brought kyunki varna bacche ka samay barbad ho raha hai definitely aur aapka duration waste ho raha hai aapki bhi energy loss ho rahi hai so i mean what do you feel like uh, any instance uh, my my experience because uh, uh, almost uh, i think um, 18 years okay. i have taught with the civil services uh, mera experience kahan se start hota hai i have i have started even taught with a black and uh, you know board chalk se bhi maine padhaya you know but even yes, you would have yes. taught the blackboard. blackboard yes then <laughs> transition to the whiteboard <laughs> with the marker <laughs> now we have a digital board smart board <laughs> now we have a smart board they were they were very intoxicating स्मार्ट बोर्ड क्लासरूम एक टाइम था कि यू कैन मूव इन द क्लासरूम आपके पास व्हाइट बोर्ड भी है तो आप एक तरह दूर कर सकते नाउ यू आर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड यू आर फ्रेम बिकॉज नाउ एडुटेक थिंग्स हैव कम अप एंड बिग बी जैसे अन अकेडमी है अन अकेडमी हैज डन लाइक इन ड्यूरिंग कोविड टाइम इट वाज वन ऑफ द बिग यू नो प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर द स्टूडेंट सेवियर सेवियर फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स क्या था कि नथिंग बीट्स अन अकेडमी टेक यस बिकॉज़ दैट टाइम व्हाट बीट्स अन अकेडमी अन अकेडमी Yes, <laughs> but but the fact is that that two years of COVID time. <laughs> it's true, man. It's true. Yeah. But nothing. Deep state. It, it, yeah. it is, but nothing. Nothing beats right. an academic. Yeah. So. I'm it is. Ah, right. So, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No. So that this two years, not the turmoil, complete COVID time, right? The online platform became a boom, and in that, uh, an academy did very well because already set of things were there. Excellent. same time you can even say that uh, uh, vision i guess it has a already set up kind of hybrid kind of class that took off very well but those in school let's say who was completely physical based who didn't have this kind of technology so they have to struggle for one year one and a half year to bring that aur aaj hum dekhe to sab hybrid hai isko ek baar ha sab hybrid hai 1.5 lakh rupees foundation cost ki fees hai offline 1.5 lakh rupees online bhi fees hai right why yeah ye bhi ye irony hai that is just plain problem. greed yeah 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 that is yeah. just plain yeah. greed very yeah. true you cannot have the same offline price mm-hmm. and the same online price right ma'am the offline institutes which have online program yeah their foundation but prices in are the academy same. the price difference Nikhani, is huge talking about, yeah for example That's what i was wondering say, ha like an yeah. offline yeah. institute yes, yes. abajira my next uh, and uh, um, laos yeah. their yeah. online prices and their offline prices are more or less the same this is another best thing with an yeah. academy yeah. so i would just add here this what i've seen that aaj ke time mein kya hai you need a kind of a online support with the physical class now coming to the in, that in general i'm talking about industry about you're very correct 1.5 lakh or 1.6 lakh charging for the same thing and give online i i i think um, it's not justifiable sure because not at all there if you look at if you're having a normal class with 500 students or 200 students you are teaching you are not spending too much of money or investment exactly, into exactly. delivering that online thing because mm-hmm. initial your investment was there in the technology part once you have set up then surplus. only the maintenance part my my point is that uh, what i think is that like uh, i was taking to talk to sir also that now around 10 to 12 lakh people are 
preparing for UPSC exam. Sure. And this market is growing very big. Yes. Now, because because of the YouTube, uh, this uh, mobile phone oh. and uh, 5G and everything, this has penetrated to far and wide in the country. Everywhere. People are now seeing the classes, UPSC has become a buzzword everywhere. So what I predict is that this market is going to grow even bigger, maybe double the size of what current size is there. And in that case, uh, online platform can play a very pivotal role. Sure. But the biggest uh, limitation where the online class happens, that's the human touch. So when you are in a classroom, in an offline class, so what happens to teach a uh, student see you there? You interact with the uh, students, right? So that you have that kind of uh, psychological impact. Although online deliver the same thing, content is the same, teacher is also same, but that only kind of mindset is there. But this is going to change. What I find is that that is going to change. So today, what I have seen that offline classes gone into online field hybrid. Online classes have come to the offline. So slowly, what will happen? It will create down the line a level playing field. Mm -hmm. Now coming to fees. Our country is a developing country, and everybody has aspiration. Even I am aware that the coaching industry ki price, jo bachcho ka bahut high nahi hona chahiye. Matlab ek level hona chahiye. Kaha we see why why one need to charge more than a lakh? Because you are paying to good faculty. If you want very good teacher, then the institute has to pay money to the institute, then staff, then infrastructure. That require money. That's what is there. But uh, so, huh. the teaching cost of Vajira or next mm -hmm. or Vijay or anybody is not more than 10% sure. of their total revenue. Right. Right. Another 10 15 percent staff costs, sub costs, sir. Bilkul. Mm -hmm. Maybe 70 to 70 percent jail mein rakhe. So, kam karbo na. Sir, I'll, price I'll, price I'll, so kam karbo. I'll add one thing. Price now. Price Just say, for example, with the advent of mm -hmm. ed techs, you know, uh, one good thing that has come, ki hybridity hai, democratized ho gaya hai education, it has access. And one good thing is that it has created this kind of competition. And mm -hmm. competition se affordability hai. नहीं वो बात ठीक है मैम लेकिन वो वॉलेंटरीली डन यू आर फोर्स टू प्राइस योर कोर्सेस इन सच अ वे हां मैम वो ठीक है लेकिन मैं वो बिलीव नहीं करता हूं लेस देन 10 तो अब आई है पहले से आप सोचिए टू ऐड वन पॉइंट हियर लाइक फर्स्ट थिंग विद कंपटीशन ऑब्वियसली द प्राइसेस विल कम डाउन राइट प्लस द यूपीएससी इंस्टीट्यूट्स शुड आल्सो हैव अ सोशल एंड मोरल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी राइट राइट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अलोंग विद द क्वालिटी यस सॉरी वन सेकंड यस द स्टूडेंट्स हु टेक द कोचिंग हियर uh they are in the earning age yes yes so the families actually expect yes, them to earn rather than right, spending right. more correct correct okay? correct correct and moreover this coaching is not giving them any certificate yeah, so right, either right. they will clear the exam and get settled in the life right, otherwise right. they will go there are other zero. other ways also ma'am like uh, uh, for so, example uh, one second <laughs> So I just feel that the coaching centers should also have a moral responsibility. Correct. Okay, correct. that the prices should not be kept very high. Yes, yes. So yes that yes. is what I feel. <laughs> so I think edtechs, competition, affordability. Now, when sir said that online me kya dikkat hai, I feel there is a key problem on both ends, teacher end also and student end, and that mm -hmm. is a problem of accountability. जैसे बच्चे को थोड़ी भी टेक्निकल कंस्ट्रेंट तो इम्पेशेंट हो जाता है क्लास छोड़ देगा बाद में वीडियो देखते हैं और ये जो बाद में का बैकलॉग बढ़ते इसका जो विशियसनेस है सो आई वुड लाइक टू ऑफर अ सोल्यूशन कि जब भी ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजिकल कंस्ट्रेंट है या तो एवरी वीक जो टीचर्स आजकल करते हुए हैं जूम सेशन करते हैं तो ये अंटिल दिस मैकेनिज्म कम कि आपने जब तक ये लाइव सेशन किया बच्चों के उन सिर्फ उन बच्चों को केटर करने के लिए सेशंस नहीं लिए तो ये लंबे समय तक चलेगा नहीं वो बच्चा फिर चाहेगा चलो ऑनलाइन नहीं हो रहा है मामला आई विल हैव टू गो ऑफलाइन मुझे दिल्ली ही जाना पड़ेगा सो देन ये लंबे समय तक तब चलेगा जब वी हैव दैट चेक बैलेंस थिंग एंड दैट विल कम प्रो एक्टिवनेस ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ द टीचर एंड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट it will work in long term only if these three things are done together ma'am coaching ethics is one of the most one of the least talked about mm -hmm. yes because no regulation ma'am when vajiram kaam kiya 10 saal 
నెక్స్ట్ టూ సార్ ఎంటీ డిఫెక్షన్ లో వాజీరామ్ మీరు <laughs> 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 మ్యామ్ హమనే వహా పే కియా తా జిఎస్ లేకిన్ హమారా ప్రిలిమ్స్ నై హువా టెస్ట్ సిరీస్ తో ఫిర్ ఉన్ లోగో నే టెస్ట్ సిరీస్ హమకు నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ బి లిఖనే దే కరెక్ట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ దిస్ రిఫండబిలిటీ దిస్ కన్సిడరేషన్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కై బార్ విత్ రిస్పెక్ట్ టు ఎవాల్యుయేషన్ ఆల్సో మతలబ్ టీచర్స్ కో బి ఏ హ్యూమన్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ లానా చాహియ కి ఏ మేరా బచ్చా ఫౌండేషన్ కా హై ఐ షుడ్ నాట్ ఎన్రోల్ హిమ్ ఇన్ ఎనీ టెస్ట్ సిరీస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ అగర్ మేరి కోయి టెస్ట్ సిరీస్ ఎట్ లీస్ట్ ఇన్ ఫౌండేషన్ కే బచ్చో కో ఫ్రీలీ అవైలబుల్ బిల్కుల్ బిల్కుల్ in fact man this, uh, this will come the problem with wajira i think what has happened is because of sheer number of students ha there used to be different classes every day hmm. that that, so that academic cycle was very issue, problem which is now the case for almost everywhere else but in terms of ethics it was in terms of anybody which has upwards of 10000 students in a hmm. setup you cannot finish that one part in a go but in terms of let us say uh, infrastructure in terms of you know student friendliness theek we find కోచింగ్ మ్యామ్ ఆన్ అన్ ఎవరేజ్ మేరకు మహీనే మే కమ్ సే కమ్ దస్ సే బారా ఫోన్ ఆతే మేర ల్యాండ్ లార్డ్ రాత్ కో 1 బజే మేరకు ఘర్ సే బాహర్ నికల్ రా హై మేరకు బిజ్లి కా దస్ కా బారా యూనిట్ లే రా హై మేరకు కో హారెస్ కర్ రా హై కుచ్ నా కుచ్ కో థానే మే మ్యామ్ లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ అట్ 1:00 ఐ గాట్ అ కాల్ ఫ్రమ్ ఓల్డ్ స్టూడెంట్ వాస్ షాట్ at a patel nagar jib mm. mm. goli 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 lag mm. sabai mm. goli lag gaya mm. mm. ladai badai ho gayi thi kuch tha somebody retaliate some local only a patel mm. not a student shot the student bhag ke mai mile member we'd gone to blk and then the parents had come the next day all that happened ye responsibility kahan hai ne ye baat sahi ye kahan hai wo bhi delhi city mein na kota has already witnessed जब बच्चा आता है माँ बाप के साथ కనెక్ట్ కరా మతలబ్ దిస్ ఇస్ బోత్ ఛోటీ చీజే 
आपने बोला है आप जब तक आपका मैरिज प्रोसीजर होना चाहिए आई लिटरली है उसने डेली पुलिस में फोन किया और फिर उसको बोला फिर एंड किसकी द हाउस इन विच वॉज इन वॉज हिमसेल्फ वो ऑफिसर इन उत्तर प्रदेश अब ऐसे टाइप के लोग नहीं अभी क्या हो रहा है कि दो साल का जो इकोनॉमिक लॉस हुआ ना सबका सब रिकवरी इवन यू सी द रेंट ऑफ द क्लासरूम द बिल्डिंग रेंट जो पहले रेंट जो दो लाख डेढ़ लाख में बहुत ट्राइंग माय लेवल बेस्ट कि एटलीस्ट मैं ट्राइंग टू सेट अप अ सेंटर फॉर दिस और दैट वेट दैट थिंग फॉर दिस कुछ ना कुछ चलता रहता है मैं मेरे को यूपीएससी से लड़ो क्योंकि वो पे के हैं लैंडलॉर्ड्स ले लो क्योंकि वो बच्चों के साथ बदतमीजी कर रहे हैं आधे कोचिंग वाले रिफंड नहीं करते अरे यार कर देना तो क्या जरूरी है रेजिडेंशियल इंटीग्रेशन जरूरी लगता है एटलीस्ट दोस हो क्योंकि इतनी सीरियस एग्जाम अगर आपके पास इनेबलिंग कंडीशन नहीं है तो हर चीज का प्रेशर मतलब आप एक तो इतनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम से जूझ रहे हो फिर उसके बाद आप खाने पीने इन बेसिक चीजों के लिए भी Uh, but the class will be kind of very monotonous same right, right, right. level it goes on then uh, the class may be very boring the students mm-hmm. cannot concentrate because psychology says if i love ice cream if somebody gives me ice cream for 2 minutes also i cannot think only about ice cream mm-hmm. i will start thinking Starting. about everything else mm-hmm. while having it that grab so that grab will not be there so mm-hmm. i feel teachers can slightly entertain Right. But entertaining is like subject is hero. Subject right. is the hero. When mm-hmm. I feel my subject is the hero, when I respect my subject so much, mm-hmm. I want every student, the most notorious, the dullest mm-hmm. student in the classes also, should listen to every single word I speak. For that, if I want, I may entertain. But entertainment is becoming the hero. That is what is uh, upsetting me badly. Mm-hmm. And Actually, really, yes. I think it's the most draining part. कि ये डेढ़ लाख पर कोचिंग ये सब सुनने के लिए किया तो तो मैं YouTube पे जाके सुन लेता इतने influencers हैं that is कभी है majority of students think like that. But uh-huh. whoever five six people who hero worship them, uh-huh. they kind of uh, uh, make uh, the like entertainment. और उनका paper नहीं लिखना है ना मैं the end purpose is not solved with what we are going to the classroom true, true. i think we're talking about oja sir and vikas ji <laughs> let's just put it nahi but mera no, like uh, mera, mera to be actually hai. frank uh, not uh, like, just to be act, not only them mm-hmm. kind of sometimes mm-hmm. we are also being forced to entertain Kran. the exactly students. my boy otherwise uh, kind of uh, <coughs> becoming uh, an academic class mein bachcha likhta hai maza aa gaya बताना चाह रहा था की 
teacher has been influencer from day one. Day one. Huh? You can't separate it. Like, like I'll I'll tell you the story. Like we all know that um, school teacher. We all remember even today. Today. Who taught us? School English wali ma'am. Ah, ah. That was the ma'am. Biggest person the ma'am. Ah, that was the ma'am. So, he. We all remember today because. वो इन्फ्लुएंस है वो भी इन्फ्लुएंस है जो कि हम जीवन पर याद रखते हैं कि अच्छा हां जो टीचर जो बड़ा इलाहा केमिस्ट्री होती है केमिस्ट्री वाला देखिए आप का योर स्टोरी बिकॉज़ जिंदू मैम एंड दैट हैज अ सच अ इन्फ्लुएंस इन योर लाइफ देन यू केम टू द यूपीएससी फ्रेंड इन अ वे आई बिकेम टीचर ओनली बिकॉज़ ऑफ बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट बिंदू मैम बिंदू मैम टीचर इज अ ऑलवेज इन्फ्लुएंस मैं मानता हूं कि अगर मैं पढ़ा रहा हूं तो मैं अपने कंटेंट के साथ स्टूडेंट को इन्फ्लुएंस कर ही रहा हूँ चाहे इन्वायरमेंट में मैं पढ़ा रहा हूँ कुछ भी पढ़ा रहा हूँ या जो सर पढ़ा रहा है तो इन्फ्लुएंस हो रहा है ईच एंड एवरी वन इज हैविंग इन्फ्लुएंस अब क्या हो रहा है ये ये एक एस्पेक्ट है इट इज वट यू से कंटेंट पार्ट दूसरा एस्पेक्ट ये है कि दैट इंटरटेनमेंट पार्ट विच वी वे टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट मसाला दैट इज अ मसाला विसे कि जब तक वो मसाला नहीं हो तो मजा नहीं आएगा और आजकल जो है उसका रीजन क्या हो गया है कि ये जो मैंने बताया यूट्यूब में रील्स शॉर्ट्स यूट्यूब वीडियो तो नाउ दिस हैज टोटली कैप्चर द माइंड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट अब जो लौट आ रहा है ना अब जो उठ के आ रहा है जो तैरी के वो इस दुनिया से आ रहा है आज से हम दस साल पहले की बात करें तो उस समय ये इतना नहीं था ये कल्चर हाँ वो था ही था ही नहीं स्टूडेंट वॉज लाइक दैट अब उसमें से कुछ लोगों ने इसको अच्छे से भुनाया मैं आई मीन टू से जिनको पता है कि ये एक मास है एंड दे हैव ऑल बिकम लाइक टुडे हीरोज व्हाट यू सेड हीरोज ऑफ दैट एंड आई विल टेल यू देयर इज आल्सो अ वेरी बिग बिजनेस माइंडसेट आल्सो टू रन हां या दैट्स व्हाट सर आई कनेक्ट द डॉट्स देन सो देन देयर इज द एडवेंट ऑफ द एडटेक्स यस देयर इज एडवेंट ऑफ ऑनलाइन यस देयर इज एडवेंट ऑफ व्हाट डू वी से अफोर्डेबिलिटी यस कंपटीशन यस एंड देन द एडवेंट ऑफ द हीरोज हीरोज यस बिकॉज़ द जनरेशन इज आल्सो इंस्पायर्ड यस by this advent of this ad tech yes, yes, so there is like this golden thread yes. which is flowing through all these ideas mm-hmm. and there is one more small point here yes sir uh, with online classes when yes. it comes to online offline uh, like uh, with online classes what happens is the faculty who sur- survive primarily based on uh, mm-hmm. entertainment they will be filtered yeah one day because in, one day. in online that yeah. uh, that is not possible in online right. mainly the content uh, right right right, right, right. That's, that's why uh, that's all the more, more to the point yes more yes. representation ma'am <coughs> i was slightly different take on this yes yes my my take on this is you want to entertain students you tell them your entertainment right. ye kaam ka nahi hai ye kaam ka nahi hai i am giving you a breather i am giving you a breather i am giving you a break मैं बोल रहा हूं कि मैं नहीं पढ़ा रहा एंड दैट इज समथिंग बट सर यू आर सेइंग दैट यू आप नहीं पढ़ा रहे बट लाइक व्हाट इफ सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स डोंट वांट दैट हां अग्री द टाइम इज गेटिंग वेस्टेड अग्री सो अल्टीमेटली द चॉइस ऑफ द स्टूडेंट शुड बी विद द स्टूडेंट तुम नहीं बैठना मत बैठो मेरे से होता नहीं है तो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट एवरीबॉडी हैज अ सर्टेन वे अबाउट मी लाइक आई कांट बी दैट फनी आई आई कांट बी दैट दैट एंगेजिंग I also think motivational speaking is an art. It is an acquired skill. Right. And some people have it, some people don't have. <coughs> My problem mm-hmm. is with people who are saying this is very relevant for you. This is extremely important for you. Uh-huh. That is more risky. That, that is far uh-huh. more risky. That is. कोई conspiracy theories बन रहा है, कोई commentator बन रहा है, बिल्कुल बिल्कुल किसी को politics join कर रहा है. नहीं, हमें we are giving content. ये बहुत जरूरी है ये 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 बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आपके लिए मैं अंदर की खबर लेके आ रहा हूँ मत पढ़ा बोल के मत पढ़ा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल लेकिन डोंट मेक अ चाइल्ड अनलर्न अनलर्न वेरी ट्रू वेरी ट्रू दैट इज माय प्रॉब्लम नहीं लेकिन आप देखिए ये चीज है मैं बता दूँ कि वे हैव टू टाइप ऑफ टीचर्स एक who is delivering content and that beach beach mein unka masala bhi hota hai joke bhi hota sara hai aur ek hai jo ki only motivation content part is lacking there yes this too now what sir has added 
the more precaution, more dangerous part is that. I will declare this to, that I'm, this two uh, are all right. And then now this two are all right because yes. one is saying that see I'm not teaching but I'm motivating you. Yes. Other is a teaching and saying in between giving the motivation. Third one what you have brought that is a you know, big risk. That's big the most dangerous. Risk. Dangerous. मल्टीवर्स है दुनिया अलग है ऑनलाइन की दुनिया अलग है ऑफलाइन में भी छोटी 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 दुनिया है ये वाजीराम विजन दृष्टि नेक्स्ट ये ये आपके फर्स्ट स्टेप्स हो गए उसके बाद आप यू नो समबडी सेकंड अटेम्प्ट कहां सेकंड अटेम्प्ट में कोई जा रहा है तो वो फोरम जा रहा है कोई वो आसिफ के पास जा रहा है या कोई मेंस का कोई कुछ कर रहा है यू नो देन यू हैव स्पेशलाइज्ड मॉड्यूल्स देन एंड एंड देन यू हैव पीपल हु हैव just built on their subject legacy lukman ho gaye you know balyan ek big time pe the legacy teacher now there are teachers who are young who are off beat but are, are making it so well vikas and sociology aap for political science ho gaye ab un vishat for socio another that that boys will Correct. really really well to so, everybody has its small 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 yes. universe yes. correct ek bahut acha dost hai mera gaurav jha टीचर्स पॉलिटिकल साइंस टुडे आफ्टर रंजन द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स मैम वो दस साल स्ट्रगल किया क्योंकि उससे कभी मजाक नहीं हुआ ब्रिलियंट कंटेंट ग्रेट एनेक्डोट्स आज फाइनली डूइंग वेरी वेल फ्रेंड्स तो उसकी एक ऑडियंस है उसको पढ़ना पसंद है वो दिल से पढ़ता है और खुश होके पढ़ता है आप हो गए आप ये सब Everybody has छोटा 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 और उसे मृणाल सर है मृणाल सर आई थिंक रेवोल्यूशनाइज ऑनलाइन टीचिंग इन एज ओन वे इवन टूडे उन्होंने नोट्स को लाइफ में ले आया हाँ मैम इवन टूडे ही इज मोर टेक फ्रेंडली मोर टेक सैवी देन अ बंच ऑफ दीज ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड हु जस्ट ग्रेजुएटेड ऑफ कॉलेज एंड ही इज सो सपोर्टिव he will always give you the best advice that there is wo apne mein lage rehta hai ki ki aise karna hai isko aise karo isko aise karo and he is so if, and he has his own set of following ma'am has her own set of following so, from some family friends of ours again defense background aap se wo padhe the and she got a gayatri or something so okay. top 100 mein rank hua jira mein ki okay. i remember so everybody has their own ma'am will send you home making sure that you have not only understood it but memorized it <laughs> man has a repetition you know uniqueness repeat after abhi bol kaise yaad right you have i have seen a couple of your lectures you have a very socratarian aristotelian way to teach oh. you go very basic and then you will link it to the modern era and you will give very relevant nachiketa sir will make you visualize it Yes, so yes, everybody yes. has its own <laughs> and matlab wo bahut zaruri hai kai bar class mein bolta bhi hu jaise prelims exam bachcho ki jo psychology hai prelims exam hua us raat mahol bana rahega tension wala mahol cut off kya hai cut off kya hai sara hai theek hai ya kabhi very good question ab result pe wo aata hai hai na to result nahi hua depression mode theek hai fir wo beech mein kya hai diwali aayega dasara aayega fir uske baad Christmas, you know, jingle bell, jingle bell, Krab, New Year party. Then they get away. Then they realize that they have to study. Now they are. So, what is it? What is it? That this is all dispersed. Okay. Whether it is a big institution, or a middle institution, or a small institution, it is not important. Hmm. Student has to change. They have 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 to change. If you have to, you have to become. If you have to really work, then you have to be prepared. Then you have to be on day one. कि वो you have to be in the battlefield fight करना है. तो वो चीज़ बहुत अच्छे से नहीं हो पाता है. ये मैं student point of view बता रहा हूँ. Then I'll take your all opinion there. तो ये मैंने देखा है cycle repeat होता है. अब जैसे for example मैं तो बता रहा हूँ. मैंने अपने YouTube channel start किया. मैं पूरी real story बता रहा हूँ. अगर उससे followers subscribe देखें कुछ भी नहीं होगा. It's very less than जब मैं बहुत अच्छा कंटेंट डालता हूँ तो लाइक्स इतने आएंगे 10, 12, 15 ऐसे लाइक्स आएंगे 
but if you uh, give something you know masala type of thing something of that you will get hidden secrets hidden secrets oh not the psc bhi dekh rahe hai ab ab majburi kya hai majburi hai teacher like me ki agar mujhe hai to main kahan tak outreach kar purpose is not to become popular popular is a purpose is to reach maximum number of students ab maximum number ka to ha with the content ab main acha content de raha hu to log mera wo purpose hi nahi hai एक बार क्या था दृष्टि की क्लास में बच्चा बैठा हुआ था वो होता है ना लोग डेमो देते हैं दो तीन क्लास डेमो का मुझे लग गया कि ये तो नहीं है ये तो मतलब इज नॉट अ कॉलेज ये कोई बच्चा स्कूल का बच्चा आया हुआ है तो वो डेमो का पूछा बोले क्या है सर मैंने अभी टेंथ एग्जाम दिया है रिजल्ट अब लेट लेट हो गया हां लेट हो गया तो मैं ये आ गया कोचिंग करने के लिए तो नाउ लेट कर बेटा आपने तो अब थोड़ा जल्दी आते हैं जल्दी आते हैं तो नाउ सी द अब क्या हो रहा है 12th के बाद ज्यादातर अभी 12th के बाद वाली क्राउड आ रही है अब वहां पर दूसरा क्या जो मैं अभी पार्ट उसके बाद सबका मैं इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल जैसे हम लोग को टाइम क्या था ग्रेजुएशन के बाद है तो यू हैव नॉलेज बेस्ड इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल यू नो एंड यू आर वेरी डिसाइडेड दैट यू पी करना है अभी इनके क्या है अभी हंसने खेलने के घूमने फिरने के दिन है मौज मस्ती करने के दिन है एंड दे आर कमिंग टू डेली डेली का आने का ये अभी जैसे आज ही मेरी बात हुई देर इज वर्ल्ड माई वाइफ एज अ टीचर हर कलीग वन स्टूडेंट हैज कम फ्रॉम स्मॉल एरिया बोला कि ये जस्ट पास ट्वेल्थ and joined uh, the institute there ab wo pehle se prepared ho ke aaya hi hai ki yahi institute join karna hai you cannot do the brain washing also or you can cannot say anything ki ye karo ya ye karo wahi is prepared ki isi mein join karna hai yahi karna hai to abhi kya ho raha hai dusra level jo hai the student uh, ka ka jo crowd hai that what is coming that is a different uh, type of thing there third third point then i'll take all your opinions tisra kya hai ki jo log uh, सीरियस हैं सिंसियरली प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं वो सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो पा उनका क्योंकि यूपीएससी का पैटर्न जिस तरह से इवॉल्व हो रहा है क्वेश्चन जैसे आ रहे हैं लाइक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जाम वॉज लाइक अ बाउंसर लोग पहले कह रहे थे कि एलिमिनेशन ड्राउ करो एलिमिनेशन करो अब ये बोल रहे एलिमिनेशन खत्म हो गया अब मेरा कहना है कि एलिमिनेशन हो या ना हो इफ यू आर थॉरो विद द टॉपिक दैन यू विल भी एबल टू आंसर इट बट द वे यू पी एस सी पैटर्न इज चेंजिंग तो अब तीसरा लेवल ऑफ स्टूडेंट जो है कि ऑलरेडी गिवन टू अटेम्प्ट्स थ्री अटेम्प्ट्स दे वो परेशान है तो कि अब क्या करें ये चीज है तो मैं ये मैंने ऑब्जर्व किया है कि अभी जो क्राउड में देख रहा हूं मैं ये ऑब्जर्वेशन से सर सो लाइक द क्वेश्चन देन व्हाट रेजेस की क्वेश्चंस आर रेज कर रहे हैं कि इज द एग्जामिनेशन पैटर्न चेंजिंग नाउ इट इज सो ऑबवियस दैट यूपीएससी इज वेल नोन सिंस इयर्स एज द मोस्ट अनप्रेडिक्टेबल सर्विस कमीशन इट्स नॉट अ न्यू थिंग एग्जाम मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट आइडिया इज ऑलवेज रेलेटिव अगर डिफिकल्ट पेपर आ गया इस साल टेक्निक वगैरह सब छोड़ो ना कुछ बच्चों ने तो पास किया right. अब यूट्यूब पे उसकी कैसी हवा मची वो बात अलग है कि ये टेक्निक काम ने किया no. इन टीचर्स ने ये बोला था बट देर आर स्टूडेंट्स क्लियर आपको इस पेपर में एक सौ बीस मार्क्स नहीं लाने थे नब्बे mm-hmm. मार्क्स ही लाने थे पेपर टफ नहीं था they are selecting for what eventually they are selecting for the idea ki civil servant banne wale you have to pressure agar bahut generate hota hai to bhi aap kaise adapt karte ho usi cheez ko to kabhi bhi exam static nahi hota hai exam hamesha changing raha hai hamesha unpredictable raha hai and competition most key idea is always relative to mujhe aise lagta hai ye jo sab bolte na sir ki paper difficult tha ye bahut hi jhoot lagta hai mujhe i feel it it should have The student should have viewed कि हाँ, इस पेपर में तो नब्बे कम ज्यादा कम अटेम्प्ट करके भी एक्यूरेसी से किया जा सकता है और डरना नहीं होना चाहिए था तो फिर ये हवा ही नहीं मचती इट्स ऑल स्प्रेडेड ऑन यूट्यूब के यूपीएससी हैज चेंज अरे भाई यूपीएससी इज ऑलवेज चेंज सो देर इज ऑलवेज दिस कॉन्टिन्यूटी एंड चेंज इट्स नॉट लाइक इट हैज चेंज एंड I feel that they say interview as personality test, hmm. but I feel the prelims mains interview all the three are personality tests. Okay. So yes. in the prelims, it is uh, where they can test mm-hmm. your 
stress tolerance how much stress you can take so like i have a student who filled the hall ticket number wrong in the stress it was her third attempt or fourth attempt she was so stressed that uh, the exam was reasonable sir i have got the card so agar ye exam mein 10 15 lakh log dekh le agar aap ye 10 lakh logon ko as one unit leke chal rahe ho ki mera jo main क्लास बना रहा हूँ जो मैं लेक्चर बना रहा हूँ एक तो मुझे इन आई हेट दिस वर्ड्स टीचिंग इज नाउ बिकम कंटेंट टीचर इज नाउ बिकम एजुकेटर एंड 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 स्टूडेंट इज नाउ बिकम लर्नर इट ट्रिगर्स मी सो बैड वो स्टूडेंट है मैं टीचर हूँ ये लेक्चर है सर कंटेंट दे दीजिए सर सर कंटेंट नहीं सर लर्नर्स वांट टू टॉक जैसे बड़ा इनको जजमेंट है कि अच्छा कंटेंट क्या है एंड जस्ट लाइक आई विल गिव यू अ स्मॉल एनालॉजी अर्लियर पीपल यूज्ड टू से लव नाउ दे आर सेइंग रिलेशन तो यार रिलेशन या 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 एक्सेप्ट आल्सो चेंज यू नीड टू चेंज द गेम तो खैर यू नो तो वो सीरियस कंटेंट का गेम है सर मेरे अभी दो तीन दिन पहले एक बहुत बड़ी पब्लिकेशन हाउस है दे सेंट मी एन ईमेल एंड सेंट अ कॉल कि सर आपसे मिलना है आप किताब एक तो मुझसे किताब किताब ना एक बहुत सीरियस चीज है और समबडी इट वाज राइटिंग अ बुक इट्स अ वेरी सीरियस थिंग चार साल तीन साल लगते हैं एक ढंग की किताब यू नो लिखने के लिए एट एनी गिवन पॉइंट अब ऐसा तो नहीं कि दिन की चार किताब साल की चार किताबें निकाल रहे हैं वो नहीं निकाल सकते थैंक यू सर मैम सर प्लीज 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 प्लीज
नहीं सर वो सब ठीक है लेकिन आके ना पचास हजार बच्चे हैं सर टेलीग्राम पे सारे ऑर्गेनिक बट ये सीरियस नॉन सीरियस कंटेंट का प्रॉब्लम है बट सर समथिंग मैंने मैम ये नोटिस किया है मैंने कि you make your content to serious people to serious serious people, people. yes if they they will like it aaj nahi to kal wo number nahi aayega hmm. but the proportion will be stronger hmm. Hmm. proportion will be stronger mere right. kisi bhi youtube video pe 10 20 hazar ke upar 30 20 30 hmm. ke upar nahi jata hmm. but wo views to subscriber ratio kuch hota hai ki matlab itne log ne subscribe kar itna video log dekh hmm. that is an indicator वो बीस तीस हजार लोग देखेंगे बट वो वो देखेंगे जो एग्जाम दिख रहा है right. the reality is, लाख लोग एग्जाम लिख रहे हैं इफेक्टिवली hmm. पांच ही लिखते हैं उसमें से सीरियस लिख रहे होंगे डेढ़ लाख hmm. उसमें से सुपर सीरियस लिख रहे होंगे मैक्सिमम सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड पचास हजार पचास हजार भी आप बहुत नंबर पकड़ लिखते आई मेक माई लेक्चर आई मेक माई वीडियो फॉर दैट वन एंड हाफ लैक मेरा बहुत नहीं मेरी मेरी दुनिया दुनिया शुरू होती है 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 खत्म होती है। मेरे को मैम फॉर मी एवरी ईयर इज अबाउट बीटिंग यूपीएससी एट इट्स गेम तो मेरे को मेरे मेरे प्री के क्रैश कोर्स से क्वेश्चन आने चाहिए मेंस के क्रैश कोर्स से क्वेश्चन आने चाहिए फुल कोर्स से क्वेश्चन आने चाहिए मेरे को उसमें बहुत इट इज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग इट इज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग बिकॉज मैम आई डोंट नो मे बी एम रियलाइज्ड आई मे बी सिविल सर्विसेज में भी होता होगा आपको नाम पैसा शौरत औरत में मिल जाएगी बट अल्टीमेटली अगर आपको कोई काम से इंटरेस्ट नहीं है तो आप हेलो एसपेर हम में से बहुतों का सपना है आई एस ऑफिसर बनने का लेकिन ये जर्नी बहुत महंगी है और इसीलिए बहुत एस्पिरेंट्स ने हमें रिक्वेस्ट किया कि क्या जो स्टॉक्स एस्पिरेंट्स को हेल्प कर सकते हैं फाइनेंशियली उनकी इस जर्नी में तो इसीलिए जो स्टॉक्स ने कांटेक्ट किया के के खान सर को शायद खान सर और के की तो इंट्रोडक्शन देने की ही जरूरत नहीं है देश के सबसे जाने माने और रिस्पेक्टेड इंस्टीट्यूट में से है के सृष्टि जैन देशमुख शायद आपने नाम सुना हो सर की ही स्टूडेंट रही हैं जिन्होंने 2018 में ए आई आर दैट इज ऑल इंडिया रैंक फाइव हासिल की थी उनके एक और सिलेक्टेड कैंडिडेट शुभम कुमार जिनका 2022 में ऑल इंडिया रैंक 41 आया था उन्होंने एक जोश टॉक्स भी दी है उनके और बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स ने भी जोश टॉक्स दी हैं जो कुछ ही टाइम में रिलीज होंगे तो जो स्टॉक्स ने खान सर से बात की और उन्हें रिक्वेस्ट किया कि क्या वो जोश की फैमिली के लिए एक बहुत ही बड़ी स्कॉलरशिप दे सकते हैं और मुझे बहुत ही खुशी है हम सब के साथ ये बात शेयर करने की कि खान सर मान गए हैं वो जोश की फैमिली के लिए अपने फाउंडेशन कोर्स पे स्कॉलरशिप प्रोवाइड करेंगे यानी कि वो क्वालिटी की एजुकेशन जिसकी फीस लाखों में जाती थी अब हम सब अफोर्ड कर पाएंगे ये हेल्प वैल्यूएबल है सबसे ज्यादा हम नए एस्पिरेंट्स के लिए जिन्हें फाउंडेशन कोर्स करना तो है लेकिन लाखों की फीस हम अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते जोश फैमिली की ये स्कॉलरशिप पाने के लिए हम नीचे दिए गए गूगल फॉर्म को फिल कर सकते हैं जब आपको कॉल आए तो प्लीज मेंशन करना मत भूलना कि आप जोश फैमिली के पार्ट हैं ताकि आपको ये स्कॉलरशिप मिल पाए जोश टॉक्स को बहुत गर्व है कि अब एस्पिरेंट्स को जोश सिर्फ कहानियों से नहीं बल्कि असलियत में फाइनेंशियली सपोर्ट कर पा रहा है जोश टॉक्स का सपना कभी भी सिर्फ टॉक्स बनाना नहीं था जोश का मानना है कि हम सब में एक काबिलियत है अपनी जिंदगी में कुछ बड़ा हासिल करने की मगर जिंदगी की कुछ परिस्थितियां हमें अपने अंदर के टैलेंट को बाहर नहीं निकालने देती लेकिन अब कम से कम हमारी फाइनेंशियल स्थिति हमें अपने आई बनने के सपने से रोक नहीं सकती जो स्टॉक्स एक बड़े भाई या बड़ी बहन की तरह हर वक्त हम सबको जिंदगी में आगे लेके जाने के प्रयास में लगा रहेगा आप बस जाके अपना हंड्रेड परसेंट दीजिए एक भी दिन जाया ना होने दे बाकी जोश संभाल लेगा जय